Can you imagine rolling over in the middle of the night after hearing a ding from your phone? Your eyes filled with sleep. You strain them only to see on your phone an unknown number text you. I'm outside. That'd be terrifying. Um, <laughs> but uh, what's up, Raph fam? How y'all doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. Welcome back to another spooky video. Today we're going to dive into, as you can guess, real life creepy text messages that people have actually received. And oh my god, that is terrifying and nightmare inducing. And uh, yeah, let's go explore it. All, now, all these text messages do have like a little bit of backstory that the Reddit user has included to uh, set the mood, paint the bigger picture. It's even creepier. Um, so the first one is, I was on a bus in my school sport uniform. Then I got a text message from an unsaved number that read, Are you not cold in those thin clothes? It was a chilly morning. So I looked around the bus immediately and got another text. Stop looking. You're not going to find me. All right. Let's chalk it up to a prank. You know, their teenagers are on the school bus. Maybe someone of a friend of a friend thought it'd be really funny. Very creepy though, especially since they never came forward and said, haha, we pranked you. Cause like, what's the point of a prank if you don't tell a person it's a prank? Then you're just a creepy person. <laughs> um, okay, well this one is certainly ominous. I got a text from a wrong number and all it said was, he won't be bothering you anymore. I took care of it. No further details, no further follow up, uh, just, just that. Um, that seems like a very important text um, to accidentally send it to the wrong number. Just saying. That's, 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 you know, I feel like maybe that person should have, um, double checked. God, I would always be wondering though, like, what do they mean? Was this, just, was this again just a joke? Or was it not? Okay, well this one is incredibly terrifying. Not that the other two weren't terrifying, but this one like sent a shiver down my spine. A guy was writing on me on Grinder. I wasn't interested, so I said I wasn't interested. He kept persisting that we should meet tonight. That's a red flag. Ugh. I was like, whatever, and I just stopped responding to the person. Then he said he would take his car to come find me. When I refreshed the app, I saw the distance drop from 3,000 meters to 200 meters. He was like, I'm close now. Then I blocked him, turned off all the lights in my apartment, uh, and now I'm careful to have distance showing on all dating apps. Ugh, that is incredibly creepy. I feel like this one wasn't joking. Mm, all right, yeah, that, that seemed, you know, safety. Online safety, people. There's a lot of weirdos out there, you know? So, you have a dating app. Maybe this should be like a little warning to you. I once received a message from a random number saying, how's your show? I was in fact watching TV, but I just deleted it and kept on with my night. I got a text around 10 minutes later saying, please don't ignore me. Ignoring me makes me very angry. Okay. I started to get kind of freaked out and then I get the last text. It says, I'll always be watching you look outside. Oh, hell no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I most certainly will not. <gasps> and from across the street, a light comes on in an upstairs window and I see a vague silhouette of someone waving, waving. Oh no, long story short, this guy wasn't even living in that house and after I recalled the and after I called the police, I followed a restraining order and haven't seen him since. I'm sorry, long story short, that's a long story that I kind of want to hear the details of. <laughs> you say long story short, when it's kind of like a boring story, but I feel like there were a lot of events that probably happened that you just glossed over on that one. Um, how'd they get your number? How they know to like look in and like w like watch you at that time? How, what? There's a lot of questions here. I think that might be the scariest one that we've read. Oh no. Uh uh. The idea of someone watching you and you don't want them to be watching you. You think you're all alone. You think you're all safe in your apartment. You're just chilling, watching TV, and then like a creepy person is stalking you. Oh my God, no. Okay. Okay. This next one again, making me think twice about social media. <laughs> I received a recycled number and the previous owner had used it everywhere and they just got a lot of spam. Um, one day someone added me on Snapchat through my phone number. All right, that, uh, that idea has always creeped me out to be honest. And upon seeing my Snapchat story, a 35 year old woman replied to my story of watching Star Wars by saying, I attended your funeral. Oh, so that's actually like a scary story for the person that texted that number. You know, that's something I haven't really thought about. When people die, like, yeah, their phone numbers do just, I mean, if you stop that service, like that phone number is gonna be recycled. 
how many times have people like received like calls or messages from people that maybe didn't know that person died well, who would be more afraid in that situation you receiving that random snapchat message out of the blue or maybe the person seeing that that snapchat account associated with that phone number was active oh okay all right we're gonna end today's video on a very simple but just unnerving text message I got a message from a man on linkedin linkedin the place that you like us do like business connections right uh okay asking if he could borrow a black leather mini skirt i was currently wearing a black mini leather skirt i'm sorry people just like message people randomly and creepy on linkedin all right didn't i thought that was maybe this is the one place on the internet where you want to have to like come across creepy things you know because it's professional uh, maybe i'm just unaware or this person is just that committed to being creepy of course maybe that was the only social media that they could find this person to message them because clearly they are watching them unless they just have intuition that they have very similar styles you should think all right well there were some creepy text messages and it will make me kind of second guess when i hear my phone go off in the middle of the night <laughs> fun um thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you dug it and if you did dig it make sure you uh click the bell so you're notified when a future video goes live and uh, let me know down below if you have ever received a creepy text message because uh we can keep this nightmare train going <laughs> And until next time, kids, friends, and I'll see you again real soon. Deuces.